hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to make the admin login and the admin dashboard in our bb.net project that is gift shop so let's get started with it so this is my login page and this is the code so here when you click on the login button so i'll just show you so when you click on login button it comes over here and it will check if the user exists and it will login so i'm going to give the a static admin so that will be only one admin here so we're going to, going to write the if condition here if and this will be in the else part and we are going to say and if or here okay and if so in the if condition i'm going to say if email dot text is equal to i'll give admin at gmail.com and password dot text is equal to one two three four five then just give me dot hide and the admin dashboard dot show so let us create one admin dashboard form over here say add windows form and you can name it anything as dashboard or anything i'm just going to name it admin dashboard say add over here so now what we are going to do is in this admin dashboard we are going to show different details about the project so how many orders are placed and how many users have registered and how many feedback we have received so the admin will be able to see all that so i'll just test this much so you can see i'm going to log in and here admin at gmail.com password one two three four five and i click login i have to get the admin dashboard dot show i think it's not supporting let us mm, not sure what this is let us try once again stop that and haven't given it here so obvious admin dashboard dot show okay so this will work I'll just show you start login admin at gmail dot com okay login so you can see admin dashboard is visible so now we are going to add the details over here so I'll just stop debugging and here we have two methods of showing the details so you can just give a button or here users and when you click the users the page will open and you will show the data grid view of all the users and we have one more thing which is better than the first one where we will show the total count over here we are going to do the second option okay so first i just change this back color to white so it looks a little bright okay and now we are going to open the toolbox select button here okay just increase the size it should look like a card over here and text is going to be total users and the font is we are going to keep the same thing tahoma which we've been using from long time and you can just keep it 34 okay looks good and the name just change the name of this and say total users so just copy and paste this and here we are going to say button name will be total orders and the text is going to be total orders So if you just need you can make the buttons bigger as you see when it be in full screen you'll get more place so you can just increase the size so i'd suggest just make one box and just copy that so all the size will look good i mean it will be the same and look good okay and copy and paste the same thing so that will go over here
and this will be total feedback let's make it capital F and the name it's going to be total feedback okay so now just double tap on this form dot load so you can see admin dashboard underscore load okay so in this load time only we have to write the code to fetch the data so first we what we are going to do is we are going to create the connection variable here so that will be dim con as new sql connection so we need to import that first so it will support that say imports system dot data dot sql client okay so now you can see this connection and now we are going to create the variables for the these three things okay so that will be orders underscore command and feedback underscore command or query you can write anything and the users cmd as new sql command okay now we need to give the connection string here so what we are going to do is con dot connection string equals let us get the connection string go to server explorer and your dot mdf file click properties and you'll get it over here copy and within double quotes paste it and you just have to remove this double quotes which is there in between okay so it's removed and now just open the connection connection dot open so let's give the try catch block okay try and dim users underscore query so this is the variable to create the query okay as string equals select count count of star okay from the table name that is users um, now we are going to say the orders or users command right okay users command equal to new sql command of the query and connection we have to give okay so this is the query paste and the con okay so this will get the data from the database so we need to store that in one variable so we'll create here dim users underscore count as string and then just say users underscore count equals to cmd dot execute scalar okay so you have to get this four lines of code here similarly for all the other two we just have to copy and paste this so we'll just keep changing it here so users is done so next is going to be orders query and here instead of user cmd say orders order cmd here create orders count and the same thing just copy and paste it here orders count okay don't forget to change this or you are going to get the same output here so this is my table name i'll show you and here tables i have orders users and feedback i have just made a mistake over here so i'm going to give the wrong spelling that is f e e b a c k so users and orders is done and here 
make sure you have given this this query or I'd suggest better you just type it instead of copying and paste so you just don't make mistakes now the last one is the feedback feedback query copy and paste it here and change the table name feedback feedback count and copy that and say okay and here this is supposed to be the one which we are doing currently okay so this is user cmd this is the order cmd and this is correct for this one okay feedback cmd that was just a small mistake and now once we are done with all this we need to append this to the form here right so now we are going to use this button name that is total users right so just copy that and paste it over here total users dot text is equal to I'll just show you first how we are going to do that is just total users users count copy and paste that here next we have the total orders dot text is equals to orders count and the total feedback dot text is equal to feedback count so I'm just going to save and run the project and I'll just show you how it is working login on login so doesn't reflecting anything here we'll just check let us complete this try catch block so we might get some hint what is the error so here x dot message so whatever exception is there just print the exception so we can just find out if there is some mistake Okay, so connection dot open. We need to close that, right? After try, let us close it. Connection dot close. Start. Admin at gmail dot com. Connection property has not been initialized. Okay, so there is some issue. We'll just check with that. Stop. So the error was just this thing. We just missed it out. So here feedback command, right? So it was searching for the feedback command and it is orders command. So I just forgot to change that. Oh, feedback command. Okay. So save that. And now this will run good. Save and start. So say login and here admin at gmail.com password say login so you can see admin dashboard so this is five five and one so I want the text also here which I had given so we are just going to append it along with this number itself over there so how are we going to do that so when we are giving this thing right so you can just pass a message over here and add this thing say total users and similarly for the below things you can give this will be the total orders and paste it here total feedback okay save and I'll just show you the data was correct or not so you can verify show table data So you can see one feedback is there so it was showing one 
and here the orders it was showing phi right open show table data so you can see five orders are there and similarly the users also will be five that's what it was showing five over there now you can start the project and log in set so login and you can see here total users five total orders and total feedbacks one just add a space here and a colon here so it look good I just do that okay so in this video that's it guys in the next video we'll see how to open this thing and show the data grid view of each thing so thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again